Hello and welcome back everyone. A local anesthetic is generally made up of different combinations of compounds, but every local anesthetic has a local anesthetic agent that achieves that anesthetic effect. Like the most widely used dental cartridge under the brand name Xylocaine has lidocaine local anesthetic in it, which is of course a local anesthetic agent. It is also available in gel form as well as in a spray form and all of them serve various purposes. Similarly, there is also lignocaine, bipivacaine and various others local anesthetic available in the market. Local anesthetic are generally very safe when used as recommended. However, in the end, no matter how safe a brand claims to be, these local anesthetic agents are pharmaceutical drugs and like any other pharmaceutical drug, there will always be a potential for unwanted and undesirable effects. Study of these harmful effects of chemicals or drugs on biological systems is known as toxicology and today we will discuss some basic principles of these adverse reactions that are observed in common dental and medical practices. Effect of any drug can range from those that are inconsequential to the patient and entirely reversible once the drug leaves the body, those that are uncomfortable but not seriously harmful, or those that can seriously incapacitate or even be fatal to the patient. Whenever a drug is administered in the body, two types of reactions are observed. One, the desirable actions, which are the clinical effect of the drug and the reason why we use the drug, like the desirable action of a local anesthetic is to produce the anesthetic effect so that the patient will not feel pain during the procedure, or the effect of an antimicrobial agent is to kill the microorganisms inside. These are known as the desirable actions. Then we have the undesirable actions, which are additional and unwanted and everyone wants to avoid them, but they do happen. Like the most common side effect of a drug that almost every medical student loves to write in their exam is nausea, vomiting and diarrhea, or the hair loss effect of some of the anti-cancerous medicine. These effects are not desirable by any practitioner and certainly not desirable by the patient. So there are many different principles of toxicology, but let's take some general principles and try to understand them. The first principle is that no drug ever exerts a single action. In an ideal situation, we want a drug to have no undesirable effects and produce just the desirable effect that we want. But as discussed, in the real world, a drug can very rarely if ever achieve this. Because no drug is that specific that it produces only the desired one action and not the other. So every drug has more than one action. The second principle is that no clinically useful drug is entirely devoid of toxicity. Local anesthetic along with all other pharmaceutical drugs in the real world are capable of producing harm if handled inappropriately. Conversely, any drug may produce the desired effect if handled the right way and therefore the rational drug treatment is to maximize the therapeutic effect and to minimize the toxic effects of any given drug. The third and the last principle which we will be discussing today is that the potential toxicity of any drug rests in the hand of the user. Similarly, it is also important to know about the person to whom the drug is being administered to. Individuals may react differently to the same drug being administered. One person may not have a problem with the amide type of local anesthetic, but the other may have an allergy to the amide anesthetics. Second example of such a case would be alginate allergy, although that is also very rare. Similarly, a pregnant woman will require a different dose of a drug than a 10-year-old child. Or a chronic alcoholic patient will require a different dose of a drug as compared to someone who is non-alcoholic. The possible scenarios are limitless and therefore in conclusion individuals may react differently to the same drug and vary in their reaction to a drug. Before administering any drug or local anesthetic, the doctor must ask the patient specific questions about their medical or drug history and probing hard during history taking can never be stressed enough. I will discuss more specific systemic and local complications of local anesthetic agents in my future videos. But these basic principles are very important in order to minimize the harmful effects while injecting the local anesthetic or using any drug and one needs to understand them very clearly before moving on. So this was all for today in this lecture. I will meet you people next time. Till then, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Stay safe and goodbye.